Hi, everyone. It's me, Andy, with Micron Ventures uh, for another episode of Five Minute Founders, where we have a quick chit chat with one of the founding uh, members of the startups that we invest in and just get to know them a little bit more to see what makes world class founders tick. Uh, this week, we have Craig Beckman, the CEO of Aqua Membranes. Yeah, nice to meet you and everybody that's listening and uh, happy to be on. Yeah, great to have you, Craig. So, so Aqua Membranes, um, they're building a new architecture for reverse osmosis water filtration membranes that increases the energy efficiency of of, R, of industrial RO systems. Um, and so, so this fits in with Micron's sustainability effort and overall Micron's decarbonization efforts as a company. Um, so, really excited to have you on here, Craig. Great. But enough about me and Micron. We're here to learn about you. Let's get cracking. Sure. First question. Before aqua membranes, what is the most impressive thing you've built? Yeah, I decided to go a different direction when you sent me this question. When I was in college, I was actually on a homecoming team and we built a homecoming float. And it was a bunch of engineers that had more time on their hands and more creativity. So we ended up building something that was way bigger than anybody expected. And we built it so tall that we actually couldn't get it down the road during the parade. So we had to have people walk in front of us with 25 foot poles and lift the power lines and phone lines so we could get under. So the next year, there was then a height limit on it, but it was very impressive. It was fun to see when like 200 of us got together and built something that was extraordinary and a little over the top, but it was fun. All right. Unexpected. Um, and you should be very proud. What was the theme of your float? It was uh, University of Wisconsin and we were playing Northwestern that year and it was walking the wild side. So we had a Bucky Badger holding the Northwestern Wildcat under his arm and a full stadium built on the back with an elephant elephant in it that sprayed water. All right. Um, yeah, that's amazing. Different. Yeah, different and impressive way to build. Um, yeah. And you you win the you win the contest for the tallest thing, the tallest. Yes. Answer. Um, okay. Question two: Describe aqua membranes. What does your product do, and how is it unique? Sure. So aqua membranes manufactures reverse osmosis elements, but we do it a different way that's unique. Using additive printing, we've improved a product that probably everybody uses, but they don't know they use. Every time you drink a bottle of water, every time you use your phone or your computer, that is actually made with water that went through an RO system somewhere in the world. And for years, it's been a huge energy waste. Um, there's been a lot of improvements but one element of the construction always was kind of the Achilles heel of the product. And that's what we fixed. I've been in the business for 30 years and always wanted to fix that one thing. And now we've got the opportunity. So, so great segue into the next one. So what motivates you beyond wanting to fix that one problem? Yeah, I, I like things that are problems. People say, well, that's not something you can fix. You just have to live with it. Um, you know, the safety of cars is a good example. When cars first were made, everybody said, well, People just die in car crashes. There's nothing we can do until engineers invented airbags. And now people don't, not nearly as much. And so it's that motivation of, well, that's just something you got to accept. And that I think really motivates me and our whole team of, well, no, we don't have to accept that. It can be better. It can be improved. We can get to the theoretical limit of energy efficiency with this technology. And ours is a great step in that direction. Yeah. Right on, man. Fight the power. Um, all right. So, so as you're fighting powers and building huge floats and uh, reducing the energy intensity of reverse osmosis, uh, in five years, what will the world be saying about aqua membranes? Um, I would like the world to be saying that that is the next best innovation in membrane technology. You know, membranes have been around for 50 years. There have been some really big marquee innovations and sea changes that we've seen over the years. Aqua membranes will be that next item. In five years, everyone will look at it and say, yeah, that changed the industry. It went from an idea to a ramp up to, well, now it's ubiquitous. Everybody uses it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So, so, so most of the folks here, we're not water professionals. Yeah. Um, it, but if you wanted the folks listening to learn one thing, what would it be? And what's a website other than your company URL uh, sure. where they can visit to learn more? Yeah, I think it'd be great to educate yourself more on membranes. Uh, water is definitely one area they're used in. 
but they're used extensively in other areas from manufacturing of pharmaceuticals to reusing wastewater, a uh, very common application to making drink wa drinking water out of seawater, which is going to have to be a long-term solution for our world as we run out of water and have more and more people in industry. So I think one of my favorite websites on membrane technology specifically, which is the heart of what we do, is amtorg.com. And that's the website for the American Membrane Technology Association, full of geeks, but they're geeks that really know their stuff and have got a good education. It's a nonprofit, uh, industry-wide, and supports all the membrane manufacturing, innovation and technologies, new applications for membrane. We're always coming up with interesting different stuff to do that makes all of our lives a little better. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Craig. Always a pleasure geeking out with you about water. Um, yeah. and now My pleasure. About, about floats. Sounds uh, great. All right. Take care, Andy. All right. Thanks. See you. Bye. Thank you.